Hey everybody, Typical Toy Reviews back with another video. Now this video might not get a lot of views because I don't really know how to title it, but it's definitely something interesting that a lot of people might not know about. Uh, so basically, it's going to be a quick video, um, just showcasing a couple of different games I have. Uh, there are some games out there that have alternate art right on the back of the artwork that comes with the game. And like I said, a lot of people don't really even know about this. Uh, so for example, it goes back to as far as the Xbox 360. Um, I haven't checked all my games, and I don't know when they started doing this. Um, it's definitely not every game. I'd say maybe 10% of my collection, or maybe even less, has alternate art. But obviously this is the standard um, Xbox 360, The Evil Within. But then if you notice, I mean, usually you don't, you just take the game out. Um, you can see through the case. And so that's how it's real easy to see um, whether the game has this alternate art or not. It's just going to be white or it's just going to have instructions. But this one I actually just found a little while ago. <laughs> um, I know there's some pretty bad reflections here, not the greatest camera angle, but it actually has alternate artwork on the back. Uh, so you just flip that around and slide it back in. Now a couple games do it differently. Some just have actual artwork. But others try to retain the look of the actual game. And what I mean by that, like this, um, let's try to tilt this back, still says the evil within, still has the evil within on the spine, and then has the developer names on the back. Um, you can see Disc Made in Mexico, of course, though printed, that's just on the plastic. Um, yes, yeah, so this one's really cool, I didn't know about this one. Uh, other games. We have Death Stranding for the PS4. This one eliminates the uh, PlayStation header, and it looks more like a Blu-ray. So that's Kojima Productions, a really nice artwork, and then the back still retains um, some of the branding, you know, trademarks, licensing deals, and stuff like that. And it's got bridges and it says "Tomorrow's in Your Hands," kind of more of the original uh, marketing. So that one's really cool. And then here's an example of another game. We have Detroit Become Human, where it just has artwork on the back. It has Marcus and my other man. I haven't played it yet, but I have seen it play through a long time ago. And it has the uh, the girl android on the other side. And then when you open it up, um, it's got everybody together. So like I said, this is an example. Ooh, look at that face. You could actually take the artwork out and put it in a frame if you really wanted to. But then, like I said, you could see through the case, here's the original artwork on the other side. And then just a couple more. Borderlands 2 has a pretty neat um, landscape. It has like a handsome jack outline on it. Um, it doesn't really capture the essence of the game well. I really like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It changes Alexios for, I think, Cassandra is her name. Um, I never liked how the Xbox One disc cases said Xbox One on the top, but it makes sense with this now because you have the nice, clean um, image on the front. Again, it still has the name on the side, so when it's on your shelf like this, you can still tell what it is. But then you can see here how the back is just artwork with nothing else on it. Um, but it gets rid of that green Xbox One logo at the top. Same thing with the Evil Within 2. This one's really dark, kind of hard to see. And I don't like how the side and the back is just black. Um, and then one last game I have is Syndicate on the 360 where the Evil Within um, retained the name. This one took a different route. By the way, this game's really underrated. If you like dub stuff, you'll like this. And again, this one's more of just artwork. It wouldn't really look good as external uh, flipped around in the case, but if you wanted, you know, a piece of art. And I think that's really part of the reason why, why it's called artwork. And like I said, I figured a lot of people didn't really know about this. And I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, but I'm still looking through my collection. You know, I have like almost 80 Xbox 360 games. Um, but like I said also at the beginning that not every game has this. Um, but it is a nice little feature. And sometimes it makes the case look a whole lot better. So that's it. Hopefully you guys learned something new and you go and check all the games in your collection now. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you uh, didn't know about this and if you check your games and if you find something cool let me know what games you have. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.